The 12 inmates who cheated death are currently nursing wounds, many of them with fractures at Mbara Referral Hospital. One prison warder was also injured in the accident in which a lorry loaded with firewood overturned on the Rugando Kabohe Road. Uganda prison spokesperson Frank Baine told NTV that the prison services will facilitate the barrier arrangements for the five people who perished in the accident. Uh, we are ready to cooperate as because we are waiting for the bodies to come from Kabohe to Mbarara. Uh, we hope maybe by the end of business today or tomorrow some of the relatives will be coming in. Prisons will cooperate to ensure that the deceased are accorded a decent value. The 45 inmates who were aboard the lorry had spent the day chopping and collecting firewood that the prison authorities say was for preparing meals. Human rights activists blame the prison services for the deaths of the inmates and want the government to compensate their relatives. Then we get in touch with our prison authorities to see how they will help the relatives of those who died in terms of compensation to compensate them because for us, those people who are still on remand, we are still innocent. Prisoners are often taken to work in private farms and payments made to the prison service. Although this has been criticized by the public as unfair, the law allows prison service to subject inmates to work. But this is only for convicts. Uh, the, the standard minimum rules, as well as the Prisons Act, as well as the regulations, do prohibit any prison officer subjecting a prisoner who has not been convicted to prison labor without his or her consent. For a day's job, a prisoner earns between 500 to 1,000 shillings after working as ordered by the prison's warder. This, according to human rights activists, is a violation of their rights. The nature of work must be meaningful. It must, it must not be afflictive. It must not dehumanize the prisoner and it should not be exploitative. The prison service has been heavily criticized as turning humans into machines, although they say that the labor provided by the inmates supplements their shoestring budget. That I should be using is 240 billion. But for this financial year, I have 94 billion. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.